Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. Yes, we have a red screen at the moment. We have an unboxing for you today. And this unboxing is quite interesting. It's the Amy Painter Skin Tones Paint Set. Mm. So, let's get cracking and get into this paint set, shall we? And have a look what's inside. So, we have, I'm doing it this way just for a little bit of a change. Um, what we have is a, a set of paints, obviously, but there is more to it than that, by all accounts. Now, there we are, and oh, it's not one of those that. Um, I can take, just take the lid off and open, so I'm going to have to remove the box slight for a second. And then bring in what we have. And we have that there. We have that. We have that. And is that everything? We have that. And we have that. So, what is all this? I'm sorry we haven't, I'm having to do it like this, but I'm a little bit restricted for space at the moment. So, first off, we have the Wargamers Army um, Painting Guide, which gives you an idea of everything uh, of the Army Painter um, recommendations. It shows you how to do a lot of different things. This is a very handy little book. Um, gives you charts on different ones for highlighting. The dips. It shows you what else you can buy, like static grass and grass tufts, rays away, that kind of thing. So, and it tells you about the um, varnishing and for basing and the and whatnot. So yeah, it's a nice little booklet. I'll have a read through that at some point. And then we have the full range of 134 war paints. Wow. And on the back it shows you that we have in each bottle er and medium, heavy pigment and medium and the heavy pigment. So that's why you shake before because it all splits. And then it shows you how to use the brushes along the bottom there. Next we have a little card if there's an issue with the um what you may call it. If there's an issue with the package. And then we have a little bit of a catalogue leaflet showing all the different um, things that Ermy um, Painter can provide. Right. So, first things first. Agitator balls. Um, yeah, I'm not saying any further than that. It's just little metal balls that you can put in to the paints. That's what that is. I have a box, a pack of these somewhere along the line, which I bought a while ago. I can't for the life of me remember where they are at the moment, but they are around somewhere. So I'll put those to one side. We also have empty paint bottles so when we've mixed paints we can put them into here and keep them mixed and along with these in fact let's move that out of the way first of all turn this round and zoom in a little bit 
here we are. That's a bit better. Ooh. So here we have War Paints Mixing Medium. It's an effects paint and basically just mix it with the paints to make a uh, make it a bit more fluid. It's like a Lamia Medium for Citadel, I assume. And here we have the three washes. Soft skin wash, strong skin wash, and dark skin wash. There we go. Very nice indeed. And then we have a couple of toner paints. This is the obsidian pigment toner and the pearl pigment toner. These will be used to add little effects to the skin, like uh, a rosy flush, uh, beard stubble, that kind of thing. Let's move those out of the way and bring the first one back again. And along with the toners, the other toners, we also have, or we should have, um, another toner. Hmm. Yes, there we are, which is Garnet Pigment Toner. Okay, so they're the three toners that we have. And now, start going from lightest to darkest, we have Opal Skin. We have Amber Skin. We have Dorado Skin. Topaz Skin. And Ruby Skin. Now, away from these, whichever one's the darker, the rest, so if you were doing like that skin tone, that would be the darker skin tone, so you put that as the base coat, then that as the mid tone, and then that as the highlights. If you're using that one, you'd use that as the base coat, um, mid tone, and highlight. Um, that's how these ones work, they work as a power of three kind of thing. Uh, then we have Jasper Skin, so again, that will be the dark tone, medium, and Highlight. And what else do we have here? Tiger's Eye Skin. I do like the Tiger's Eye Stone as well. They're really nice looking colours. And then we have Mocha Skin. And finally, the darkest of them all is Onyx Skin. Here we go. So that is the flesh, um, the flesh color set, or for flesh tones paint set from the Army Painter. I do like Army Painter paints. Um, I know some people don't, but I've I've never had an issue with them, um, and really like the way they go on. They're nicely pigmented, and. I'm looking forward to giving some of the um, speed paints a try and other uh, metallics and things like that but I'll have to wait until obviously they come out um, so yeah now I do plan on doing videos I'm keeping these as a separate thing from my other Emmy um, Painter paints because I am planning on doing a series of videos showing them off now as you may or may not know, I am a member of Wigan War Games and RPG Club. It meets every Wednesday from 7pm at the Masonic Hall in Pre uh, Pemberton. So if anybody lives in the area, or the rough area, and you'd like to uh, you'd be interested in joining, then please pop in one night. Um, but 
while I was there last week, I took some painted minis in and that I'd done for one of the other members, and they seem to go down incredibly well. So much so that the the guy who's over the club, Andy, actually went home and brought some minis in for me to put together and paint. And these are from Arena Rex. He brought a great big box in, and I got. It gave me 10, but one of them I can't put together because it's a part of a mini. But we have these minis that I've put together and require painting. So I will be doing some painting um, videos using the flesh tones on these because, as you can see, there is flesh. Um, so there we are. Now what I would like to do is actually find out which one you'd like to see done first, but I do want to start these as a as soon as possible because obviously they aren't mine. Um, these were really nice to put together. A bit fiddly in some parts. Especially with this chappy, because that spear came separately. I had to thread it through the hand. <laughs> the hand was like that, and I had to thread the spear shaft through the through the hand. So that was interesting. Never had to do that before with a mini. And this, the alternate sculpt for this one was the one that was the other one he gave me, which I couldn't put together. That's because it's one of a two-part mini where he is actually riding a bull. So I got the mini, but I didn't get the bull. And there was other things missing as well. I think the spear was missing and an arm was missing. So I don't know what's going on with that. But hopefully he will give me, bring me replacements in. And he also gave me a double up. The double up was this one. I've done it in two slightly different poses. And I'm going to give them two slightly different skin tones. But these are the same mini. Um, as I said, I've just posed them slightly different. You can see with the shield and with the head. Um, I think even the sword arm is slightly different as well. So, yes, I shall, I'm going to be putting these to the... Um, primer spray very soon and if there's any particular one you'd like me to paint then let me know but I'm thinking of doing these two first um, with the two darker tones of paint that we have because these look really really nice I think they look nice with some of the metallic colours I have uh, on the shield wood anyway right that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.